Modular setups like this one can be very fun to use, but they're also quite daunting. I'm going to show you how to set up a quick arpeggiator that's going to sound really cool. Cherry Audio very kindly gifted me their plugin, Voltage Modular. This is a brand new virtual modular platform designed from the outset to be the best sounding, most powerful, flexible and yet still easy to use virtual modular instrument. So let's check it out. Okay, so the first thing we're going to want to do is we want the arpeggiator to be synced to the tempo in our door, uh, in my case Ableton. So we're going to get this sync divider. You can see there it has the note controls. And we're obviously going to have to attach that to an arpeggiator. Okay, to get it to read Ableton's clock or your door's clock, we'll use the transport here and put the sync into the sync and the play into the reset. Then we can take the clock from that, put that into the clock in on the arpeggiator and make sure you click the button underneath. Now if you see the little red light it should now change when you change the note value. That shows us that it's working. And then we need to connect the arpeggiator, uh, the sorry, the MIDI from the host into the arpeggiator. That gives us the keyboard control. Now I'm going to start building the sound and the first thing I want to use is an envelope generator. This gives us the attack, the decay, the sustain and release controls. So let's take the gate out and put that into the gate in. Next we need oscillators to generate a wave. You can see the different waves at the bottom. I'm going to double everything just to get a thicker sound so let's have two of them. And now we need two amplifiers for the, uh, well, the volumes how much gain there is. And then finally, to make this more like a normal synth that we're used to, let's add filters as well. And let's drag and drop these around so it's a bit more, um, you know, makes a bit more sense when we look at it. Now I'm going to have a stereo mixer to send the two different oscillators into when we finally go through the amps and the filters. Okay, so first we need the pitch control from the arpeggiator to go into the keyboard CV in, uh, CV being control voltage, so let's do that now. And then let's just pick what wave we want from the bottom and send that into the amps. And to control the amps with our ADSR, we need to use the uh, CV controls there as well. And then finally send the output from the amps into the filters. And pick which filter we want to use from the bottom. Send that into the mixer. And before we go any further, let's make sure we've got everything turned down. Because things can be quite loud. You see the sounds coming through now. Okay, let's attach this. Now we can start shaping the sound how we want. So I'm going to adjust the filters. Maybe tweak the resonance a little. Let's change the ADSR now. And uh, with these being in two different channels, let's pan them, one hard to the left, one hard to the right. And change the actual waveforms themselves using some of the controls. You can spend a lot more time doing this, obviously. Okay, 
Okay, now let's uh, make things a bit more interesting and have a bit of modulation with this LFA. Just going to use one for each oscillator, so this mini LFA will do. And we could put this in various places. I'm just going to use it to modulate the filter a little bit. You can see there you can change the uh, sort of rate of it. And let's do the same with the other filter. Now we can start adding some more effects, like this chorus, which will help blend the sounds together. Okay, let's try adding some reverb as well. Of course, you can keep going. Okay, and here's another example where we've added another oscillator and some more effects. You can see how you can just keep adding more and more layers to it and just keep going as far as your uh, computer can handle, really. You can also use uh, more things built into your door, like the CQ. Maybe add a bit of sidechain compression to it as well. I hope this video inspires you to have a go with some sort of modular setups, whether they're real or virtual. Um, thank you for watching and please hit subscribe. See you again.